Hey everybody, Maria here, Fourth Dimension Tarot. Hope your day is going well. I am reading for the sign of Cancer. First cards out, I have fell together, and I kind of get the sense that they're all connected. They want to hang out together. It's the Ten of uh, Wands, the Five of Wands, with the Queen of Pentacles. Cancer, I think you're dropping a relationship. Um, I think you're back and forth and you made some space for this person for a while with the five of wands. Um, and it's almost as if you're, you're energetically releasing this person. You're not making space anymore for this person. You may be the queen of pentacles. You may be holding space for the queen of pentacles. Uh, I kind of get the sense so the Queen of Pentacles is somebody financially secure, very well off. Um, I kind of feel like this person may abuse their love of money or statue to manipulate people to get what they want. I feel like this person has left with the Ten of Wands or you left them, the relationship ended. And the Five of Wands is the fighting, the internal struggle, right? <clears throat> Next two out, again, together. King of Wands and the Page of Cups. So, Cancer, you may be getting a, a flirtatious text call, love bomb energy uh, from this King of, King of Wands. Um, I have the Five of Cups and the Moon. They're missing you and there's some secrets. I feel like a self-sabotage, Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You might be dealing with another water sign, uh, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Could be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aries, Leo, Sag. I feel as if this King of Wands may be checking the temp by putting their big toe in this relationship to see if you're still holding space, Cancer. Tell me more. Tell me about cancer. What do we need to know for cancer? So this has got two different kinds of vibrations all over it. One cancer is I feel like this is a broken heart. Uh, and then Ace of Wands in the reverse. Mm, and temperance. Okay, let me finish what I was saying, but I can go into it. So the three of these together, the, the three of swords, the Ace of Wands in the reverse, and the temperance is nobody's taking the initial step to rekindle the Page of Wands, um, this very highly uh, sensual relationship, lots of chemistry here, but it was imbalanced. It seems to be that's all there was, was this a lot of, a lot of chemistry. Um, somebody was the overgiver. Somebody was the one who gave more cancer. I kind of get the sense it might be you. I feel like this other person showed up in a different way. Uh, they might have given you money. They might have paid your bills. I kind of get a heavy sense of I can just buy my way out of um, this, this concern. I also get the sense that this might be um, a same-sex relationship. That's how it is. So I feel like one has got a very high self, sense of self, high ego, uh, insecure. Somebody's trying to make a decision to move forward. Life-changing, life-changing. Tell me about this Page of Cups and this King of Wands. Page of, yeah. I have the Empress in the reverse, Nine of Swords in the reverse, and the Wheel of Fortune on the side. So somebody, I feel, and the King of Swords. Somebody's going to come in, I feel like, to this King of uh, Wands, Cancer, male or female. It doesn't matter. It's the energy, right? And I think they're going to try to get out of their head this high level of anxiety that they've been sitting in a long, long time. Uh, possibly feeling like they can't get the Empress back, but it's also having kind of clingy and insecure because that's what the empress in the reverse means in the upright they're very confident right they're running all four kingdoms and in the reverse is not really moving forward with anything and the uh, page of cups is that flirtatious mm, lightly um like i'm gonna lean in i have an alarm going off in the background so i feel like this person may feel like they're running out of time i also feel like this person has been watching you and they're concerned with your looks and with your 
newfound freedom and your confidence that they are losing hope that this relationship will ever get back to where it was, which is why this Nine of Swords is in the reverse, is they're going to act on it. I have the Wheel of Fortune on the side. They're going to stop. I feel like they're stopping your abundance from coming in. They're stopping the, the wheel from moving forward and you moving forward, essentially. Tell me about the Moon and the Five of Cups for Cancer, the Moon and the Five of Cups. I live in a pretty quiet neighborhood. I never hear a car alarm go off. So this sucker going off for like 10 minutes, I'm like in the middle of the day. Mm. So I have the nine of wands and the justice card. So somebody's in their head and I feel like in the ace of pentacles, somebody wants to come forward and they want to tell you a little bit about how they feel about you, cancer, or this might be your energy. Take it as it resonates. They want to start a new relationship from the ground up as well as um, this person might be uh, approaching you. I'm sorry, I don't know what to tell you about that. Um, and the nine of wands is that wounded warrior. They may tell you how depressed they've been since they've left you or you left them. They, um, wands is conflict, internal conflict. And there is a 10 of wands, a five of wands, a nine of wands, a king of wands, um, and a two of wands. So there's like lots of anxiety and, and decision-making and heavy, 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 uh, should I stay? Should I go? Should I invest? Should I run? Should I, you know, all of this, what is, what's their, what are they worrying about? The four of cups. This was a, um, misguided relationship that never got, never got off the ground. I, I don't know who you were dealing with cancer, but it seems like there is this energy that, um, you invested more into them versus they into you. I don't feel like they even liked you. <laughs> I think they loved you. They are attracted and they did love you, but I don't think they shared this with you. The Page of Pentacles, they may share this with you. Um, the Page of Pentacles is starting something new, different. Uh, it's also telling me that this person may be having some challenges with their previous relationships. Bad choice after bad choice after bad choice. It's like whatever they've been doing, they just haven't been happy with their decisions. Tell me about this three. Three of Swords for Cancer. Three of Swords for Cancer. The Tower. Let's find out what that's about. Tell me about this Tower. Hermit. Somebody's been sitting in a quiet space. I feel like a um, an epiphany, a change. It's like a different a different thought process. Somebody's looking at this differently. Tell me about this tower and the hermit. The devil. I do just take the top card. Three of three of cups with the queen of cups and the king of cups match. So cancer right off the top. I, I feel like whoever you have been, this seems like an older relationship to be fair or a longstanding relationship. This doesn't seem like somebody just met off Tinder or whatever. Um, this is somebody that you've had an, a longstanding, really good friendship with. And uh, for whatever reason, it didn't get off the ground. Not the way it should have. I don't think that this person historically saw you as the Empress. I just don't. I feel like uh, you've been sitting in this queen of pentacles running the show and this person missed it they never saw that they didn't see that side of you now they see the side of you because you're glowing up you're um moving forward you're making money you're making moves you're uh investing in yourself the the nine of swords is high levels of anxiety can't sleep can't eat can't think right they want to come out of that they want to have this conversation to release this fear and anxiety. They want to know where you're standing. Um, and like I said, you might be dealing with a water sign. I had uh, the king and the queen of cups. I just saw the queen of wands. So there might be an error, or excuse me, a fire sign that may have interfered with this relationship, Aries, Leo, Sag. And interfere does not necessarily mean a third party, although the three of cups with the devil and the tower kind of makes me think that there is possibly a longstanding relationship cancer that interfered with this um commitment which is why i have the ace of wands in the reverse i don't feel like i feel like either you or they don't want to 
like rock the boat. This may just be a restoration of a friendship versus um, moving into a more situationship where I think it was, or even a friends with benefits or a regular boo on a bay, whatever. I don't know. Tell me more about this um, Three of Swords, please. The Devil, the Tower, and the Three of Pentacles. Okay. Should I use the other deck? Mm. Somebody's going to rush in and tell you something's over. That's what they're going to do. They're going to tell you that um, something had ended. Maybe this fire sign, Ace of Swords, they're going to have an honest conversation with you. I am going to pull from another deck because I want to know. Tell me, what does Cancer have going on? I kind of, I'm going to, you know, I just work here. <laughs> I do. I just work here. But this is like a buildup. This has been such a long time coming, Cancer, this honest conversation. You've been waiting for a while um, to have justice in the situation, to find balance, to feel like this is an equal playing field. I'm not, I, there's a lot of major arcanas in this, um, in this spread. Tell me about cancer. Tell me more about this situation with cancer. So I feel like somebody's going to have an argument. Maybe your person's in a relationship with the five of swords, five of wands, eight of swords, in the reverse, coming out of high level of anxiety, um, in their head, fighting. What should I do? How do I approach this? It's a lot of arguing. I just said that. This person's arguing, may have been in another relationship arguing. I think it's ending with the Ten of Swords. Queen of Pentacles again. I think they see you. So the Queen of Pentacles is the pre-empress. So they can manifest anything. They run the game. They run the business. They sit in a space of complete control and whatever they think they manifest. Look at the branches coming out of her head. She is just thinking about it and she's manifesting it into reality. And it's becoming profitable out of thin air. So I feel like this person, yeah, Ace of Pentacles, again in the reverse. So this person has a lot of fear that you're not good. They're not good enough and you're not going to accept them, Cancer. Um, the Empress in the reverse is who they chose and that's, or then maybe they saw you as this person, um, lacking, just person of lack. Yeah. Wheel of fortune with the lovers. They want to come in and turn that wheel in the right direction and start, um, something new. Kind of what I just said. We did have a new full moon last night. You might be dealing with a Libra. Could be dealing with, uh, um, uh, an air sign. I have the Eight of Wands with the Queen of Swords. Um, Eight of Wands is in the reverse. So I feel like they're hesitant in coming in and approaching you because you're in the Queen of Swords mood. Um, attitude. Uh, come at me correct or don't come at me at all and we can have a conversation. But it better, by gosh, be honest or I'll take your earlobe, you know. And the Eight of Wands in the reverse is it's stagnant and somebody's hesitant they don't know what to say this person doesn't know what to say tell me more about this tower please and the devil please spirit for cancer holy spirit tell me about the devil and the tower the three of cups mm -hmm. somebody's moving forward they made a decision to move forward this person i feel if i had to just speak energetically hangman in the reverse eight of cups also in the reverse with the three of cups already again in the upright. So for several of you, just want to make sure I got them all. Anything else for this tower? Three of cups and the devil. Because you got the three of cups twice. So spirits, like I said, what I said. Ace of cups in the reverse. King of wands also in the reverse. Temperance. Again, in the upright. Twice. The moon now in the reverse. So, secrets coming out. They're going to tell you. I don't think they ever intended to fall in love with you. I don't think they wanted to have feelings for you. I feel like they just thought that, saw this as a third party, just to hit it and quit it. Um, since you walked away, right? They wanted to run in and make this correct. Now they're coming in to talk to you honestly about this situation. I feel like they did get into another situation that is now ending. Um... 
And they did, I feel like they just jumped into that impulsively and they're going to come and talk to you about it. I also get the sense that they, with this devil card and the tower, it's almost like they're sitting. The hermit just kind of mm, an epiphany, right? Is somebody sitting here looking at their life saying, what do I want? What do I really, really want? I'm not going to put one ounce of energy towards anything or historically my pattern of behavior has been rushing into the next thing to get over the last thing. Okay. And this is recognizing, and it's might it might be a male or female. It doesn't matter. It's the energy, the recognition, the sitting and having an honest, transparent conversation with self about this behavior, which is toxic right? And uh, it's a tower moment for them because I don't think they have ever been that honest with themselves about what stops them from getting their happiness. Got the, the deceit, the lie, the, what stops them from finding their happiness. And I got the world here, the king of swords, the honest king, healing energy from being out in the cold and wanting to heal this relationship and having an honest conversation. This is a perfect match. I still feel like it's a water sign. Uh, you're dealing with another water sign. I have King of Cups again coming out. Five, yep, I got the Magician. Five Pentacles, which is the same thing here. Six of Cups in the reverse. Ten of Swords in the reverse. Four of Swords in the reverse. Five of Cups in the upright. Nine of Cups in the Magician. So I do feel like this person is definitely wanting to come out of their head. That's the best way to put it. They want to explore this relationship, but in a different light. I feel like they've spent some time in the Four of Swords. So the Three of Swords is... Um, the experiencing of the loss, the lack, the, the heartbreak, right? And the four is the recovery from it. Um, this person wants to come out and not experience it again. Um, but they do want to have a conversation about it. And the four of swords is I have recovered from the three, um, and they're hanging on my wall. And then the fourth sword on the floor is me taking an honest look at where I'm at fault for consistently, setting this up to fail and not investing correctly at the beginning. And the magician is trying to manifest this relationship back to the place where, where it can be successful. And it's also, I finally feel, I feel like a lot of this is this person finally gets that they have all the tools they need. They have the self-esteem. It's almost as if the fingerprints of God are all over this relationship and they're recognizing um, the importance of this relationship to them and they are good enough to receive it where before I feel like they were either better than you or they were feeling less than you. There wasn't an equilibrium. That's why there was an imbalance. There was an imbalance in the relationship. Anything else you have for cancer? I'm going to pull the naked truth card. It's a soulmate energy. Emperor. Thank you. I feel like this person is now stepping into the emperor um, level which is great. It's a balance of all four kings, right? And I feel like this person has finally found their way to their mouth, right? And it's the emperor comes in with a strategy, but like wants to have a conversation, it's like coming in to have a conversation. I don't know if they want to jump into a new relationship. It's a fool in reverse. I feel like your person, this person, Cancer, may ask you to be friends for a while or to give them space or time to heal. It's like I keep hearing, give me space and grace. Now, I can already see your comments. <laughs> I can already see your comments. I'll give them all the space they want. You know, I'm telling you, Cancer. I feel a lot of you have given up on this person, Seven of Pentacles. You're looking back at this with the Five of Wands and you're saying, same same energy at the beginning of this is you're still defensive. You're still defensive. You're still hurt. You're waiting for an apology and you want them to like come and talk to you. Let's, let's hear what does Cancer's person have to say. I kind of told you the signs that I saw. Um, Cancer, I feel like this person has been sitting in a hermit, getting prepared. You know, like it's a, uh, I don't know, fluffing the nest. You know, like, do I have enough resources to come in and do this right? 
I feel like if they came in again, they want to make sure they have a gift for you. A, a, like, like you're not going to probably date. You're probably going to go on one date and then plan a wedding, plan moving in. This was a hard lesson I needed to learn. I was out of control. Cancer, your person, serious addiction, I feel, or it could be addiction to people or codependency or whatever. I feel like this person, like I said, the imbalance that you matched, even if you have problems, I mean, this person was like taking advantage of your kindness and not really reciprocating it in the way that you delivered it, you know, and they were super imbalanced. I, it was easier to lie than to tell you the truth. I wish I could take it all back. So this person, I feel lied about you. I don't know why this imbalance is coming through as like def you needed to defend yourself. <sighs> I don't know. It's like all I see, this is what I see is a bag of leaves. It's fall here in Colorado and it's a little getting a little cooler and the leaves are changing color and they're flying around. And I feel like somebody's got a big bag of leaves and they open it up and all the leaves fly out and they're never to be seen again. They're flying all over the, the city, right? And I feel like somebody just started telling dishonest things about you and your relationship and even about your character and they can't undo what they've done. This is like the unforgivable because how do you, like that's the energy. The five of wands is internal conflict. I love this person, but I don't trust them. How do you come back from that? What else do they want to say to Cancer? I don't know what they lied about. I feel, there's so many feelings I have right now about your relationship, about their feeling about you, about you being a parent, bad parent, good parent, unavailable parent, inappropriate parent. I feel parenting is a big thing of it, money. Please unblock me. Yeah, that's me calling you from unknown numbers. All right, I'm gonna, I miss, I miss making love to you. I will do anything just to hold you again. Hold on, we get better, hold on. I dream about you constantly. I hate that I have to wake up because it's so beautiful in the 5D. And this is, I miss your voice, your laugh, your humor, your touch. I'm in my feelings today. And the last one says, I'm going crazy without you. I want to see you so bad. So, Cancer. Cancer. Loving you to death. But the energy that is just like really coming off these cards, male or female, male or male, female, female, doesn't matter. The energy is energy and it is tsunami level. Um, whoever you were dealing with did not um, treat you right. I feel like this may have been a secretive relationship. Somebody kept you um, and denied you, denied your relationship with them. Um, I feel like you had to fight for a lot of things about you. This didn't help. This was a lot of triggers. This triggered a lot of your self-esteem, um, a lot of your feelings about yourself, whoever I'm reading for. This you love this person and this person I feel took advantage of you, or at least that's the energy I'm getting off of them is they just kind of like saw you as a fling and, uh, hadn't like, they had no feelings for you whatsoever. That's what this feels like. And I, I don't know if it's true. I think they're hiding all this, but they were never going to let this see the light of day. Never. I'm for several of you, you are at a very great distance for several of you. This is the same sex relationship and out of the same sex relationships, one of them is married. Absolutely. And this is a hidden relationship. Um, several of those also same sex partners are already with another partner. That's a lot of this. So there's a lot of deaf, like a lot of levels. Um, if you're male, female, there's a handful of you where this was interrupted by yet another person, like a hanger on, a third party, an entity that would not let go. Um, and they just couldn't step back in. It was just easier to just deal with it. And then you dropped it like a hot potato. You're like, let me help you. I'm out of here. You don't need to worry about me. I'll take care of myself. That's the synergy. Handful of you, this was so painful. And I feel like you made space. I feel cancer, you left the door open for this person and uh, you gave them a long time to turn around and come back. And I don't think that they took, 
I don't think they took that opportunity. No. And and to be fair, you blocked their ass. <laughs> you're like, you're like, uh -uh, I love me a little bit more than I love you today. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to entertain this because it, you broke me. You broke me. And I'm not going to, and it was not just the heart that got broken. It was your self-esteem. It was your ego. Um, this, it's kind of weird. I feel whoever I'm reading for again, it's, you're dealing with an I'm high level narcissist. I mean, like you're dealing with a really arrogant human being who thought that they could just walk in and out of your life at will and you were just gonna drop everything you were doing and start back up and they wanna come right back in. Here it is. So again, I don't know who I'm reading for. Handful of you, this is a, a true soulmate and this, um, I don't feel like this is all of your people are narcissists. I do feel a high level of them um, weren't ready for the level of commitment that you were bringing in. And unfortunately, I don't know if they want to, I don't, I don't think maybe a handful of them want to entertain this again. They, I think they want to remain single, to be fair. Um, a larger part of you want to come back or these folks want to come back to you. Cancer, you actually cancer might have, cause this is like several Kings. Um, you might actually be dealing with two or three or four different energies that are interested in you and you're looking at your options. Um, and this person might be on the back burner. So there's a lot happening right here for cancer cancer. You've got all the cards. I'm just keeping it real. You you're carrying all you're carrying everything. Um, all, all the gifts. <laughs> you, you are the gift. You are the gift. So whatever you choose to start or not start, whatever you do is going to be justice. You have the, you have the support of your tribes. You've been through the things and the stuff and the ringer and that nine of wands is whatever you choose to invest in is going to be highly successful. And it may be just you investing in yourself. Or a handful of you. I think you're just going to walk this walk alone and start just learning your best life or living your best life and learning your next thing that you want to master um, independently. And that's fair too. So, you know, Universal provide you somebody when you are ready. That's kind of how this works. Um, but this is your reading. It's very impressive. This is a lot of energy um, and you've spent a lot of time in the hermit mode healing from this. And I'm just so, so proud of you. You've done so much work, so please be mindful that with this new moon, you might feel very emotional, but you are walking into a very abundant November, I believe, with the Wheel of Fortune twice um, in your reading, and you are moving forward. You put closure on this one way or another, and I feel like you're going to have a lot, a lot of options in this next uh, chapter. I'm very excited to do your November reading. So love and light, my friends. If you feel like this is uh, your vibe, hit that subscribe button, please. And thank you. Hit that notification bell and you'll be notified when I upload new content. And if this resonated with you and you want a little bit more details, my a link to my calendar is in the comment box right below. And uh, go ahead and peruse that for a time that works for you. And we'll have a one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, until next time. Take care, Cancer. Bye.